Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the Marvel Snapcast episode 20. I'm Ken, here, here, here with our Valentine. Um, Luke's out today, but he'll be back next week for sure. And uh, we have some special guests today. So, introduce them. Starting first, back by popular demand, the People's Champion, Eggs. How you doing, Eggs? Welcome. Hey, I was trying to think of a good over, like a good way to start after I did like the t- chair spin, but that felt like that was, okay. that was anyway. perfect. <laughs> Thanks. Nailed it. And then we have the most talented Felicity in the building. How are you, Felicity? Thanks for coming. First Pretty time. Good. Thanks for having me. Awesome. And of course, the best voice in Marvel Snap, Coco. How you doing, yes. Coco? All right. How are you? And this person needs no introduction, ladies and gentlemen. Kyle was in the building. Uh, you said no introduction. You still said his name. I know. Oh. I know. <laughs> this guy. Kind of cool. Just love saying Kawa, right? That power. Yeah. How you guys doing? Welcome. Good. Very good. What's on, everyone? Good, good. So we've done 20 of these so far. I'm surprised we made it this far. Oh, my God. Uh, it's been great. Yeah. 20. Wait, 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 wait. You're surprised we made it this far? What? I'm surprised. I'm surprised. Because, listen. We to have confidence in yourself. Oh, no, I have confidence. We are all so busy. And the fact that we're able to do 20 of okay. these every week, I'm, I'm, I'm That's impressed. Fair. That's true. 20 consecutive to. without missing a beat. Yep. Definitely didn't miss a single week. <laughs> not, not, Never, even, not one. Not, not one, one. Not two. Not, one not maybe three. Loot's even here today. Nobody has missed a single. <laughs> exactly. yeah, I episode. see loot. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, boy. Hi, yes, there we go. <laughs> so, guys, what is that? Is it an airplane flying? <laughs> yeah, it's an airplane. Sorry. Okay, no, <laughs> <laughs> Make sure I'm not hearing things. All right, okay. all right, let's. <laughs> <That's> great. <laughs> all right, let's do the share screen. Let's talk about. So, the season is here. Days of Future Past. We did touch on this last week. Um, Nimrod is the Battle Pass card. How you guys feel about this card so far? Has it been great? Has it been helping the meta or changed the meta? Um, Eggs, how do you feel about Nimrod so far? I love my pink marshmallow. Pink Marshall. Okay. Yeah. I, I like so that. I play <laughs> I played a Nimrod deck uh this past weekend during the um Danger Room showcase. And uh I just have this deck that I'm like super confident in, but it just struggles on ladder right now. Um so I mean I'm enjoying it. I think that it has a lot of potential, but the meta is just rough. It just can't survive the current meta. So I hear that. Felicity, how about you? I think it's definitely an an interesting card. Um, I've tried it a few times. Um, I also haven't um, been able to get it to work on ladder, but um, it's definitely been fun. Okay, awesome. All right, Coco, how about you? I I like it. Um, I played I played a bunch of Galactus. Well, you were there yesterday. I played a bunch of your Galactus lists and whatnot. That was really fun. Worked that well. um, I've been trying to get ongoing Destroyer to work with it. Ongoing destroy. I like that. I'm not sure how yet, but I feel like it can work. Okay. And Val, I know you played with it before. How you feel about it so far? Are you still enjoying it? I I mean, I I tried shoving him into a couple different decks. He's fun in like a negative Galactus. I I think he shines there more than anything else. The the destroyer wand combo is also beautiful. Um, been finding a lot of difficulty in hitting that. There's a lot of arrow out there, kind of messing up, trying to play anything in a specific lane. Um, he kind of, I feel like I run into the same problem with him that I did with Wolverine with Galactus. If you ever turn five Galactus, so if you get the Nimrod out early, he, he kind of just ends up getting in the way for your final play. Um, he's fun. I think he's going to shine more with Negasonic pumping out next week, hopefully. But yeah. uh, maybe we'll get to that. What about you, Kawa? Yeah, I've really enjoyed Nimrod, actually. Um, main things I've kind of done with him is just run him in a general destruction thing. So like with like Destroyer, Zola, uh, Electro. Really good with Shuri as well, because it means it's like technically like not shangable. Like if you shang it, then it just spreads out to the other lane. So uh, pretty cool combo. For the most part, I've had a lot of fun with it. I haven't run into too many like solid counter decks where people are just like straight up running. Uh, armor and cosmo so for the most part i've been happy because i've actually been able to experience uh using nimrod that's been good 
Must be nice for real. That's awesome. Okay. I, I hear that. Yeah, we'll get to the Must other card. That, nice. we'll, we'll get to the other card that stops you from basically playing the game. But yeah, that's that's, a, that's another conversation. All right. So Master Mode came out yesterday. Um, I was excited to be able to see the card in my shop early, you know, compared to last time what happened. Yeah, why was he um, early? Do you know do you know why he was early? No, uh, he was early, I guess, because they didn't want to make the mistake they made. Yeah, last they didn't time. want to fuck <laughs> up again. <laughs> so they made it come out like 30 minutes early. Mm. Um, but, oh, wait, you yeah. got it 30 minutes early? I got it like, yeah. I, I thought I got it an hour early, but again, it could have been to do yeah, yeah. time. Oh, so if you, if, you don't yeah. open your, if you don't open your shop, if you don't open your shop the entire morning, when 12 o'clock came or right before the refresh, they, when they mentioned it in Twitter, mm -hmm. if you went to your store, Master One will be there. Oh, yeah. okay. Cool. So oh, was I got the months? notification and I went there and it wasn't there. Well, but did you go to the shop before? I don't know. I was streaming okay. probably. Yeah. That's <laughs> so yeah. in my shop. Yeah, well, yeah, it's still ridiculous <laughs> to the fact that if you're playing the game and like you want, you're waiting for the card and it doesn't show. But then if you close the game and you re like, you know what I mean, that just shouldn't be the case. But either way, it's Master Mo. So, I mean, I I'm sorry to say he's not worth 6K. <laughs> no, he's, he's, he's oh, not. God, God no. No. Well, Fuck no. I Something has to happen. They ha I hope they make this change where some of these cards show up in Series 5 or Series 3 even. I mean, yeah. I I'm, Master Mode does not belong in a Series 5. Quick poll but of the room. When was the last card that was worth 6K to you guys? That's a good question. Uh, Anyone just shout it out. Kang. You feel like Kang? I don't know. Kang, if Kang was worth 6K? For, uh, I, because I really look, I try and play as many tournaments as possible. He's very okay. That's fair. I don't. I don't get to play in a lot of tournaments. That's fair. That's the only place I would see him. Haney. Very, very good there. I don't know. Maybe Valkyrie. She wasn't. Well, she, she wasn't. Well, she when was you bought her for six K, wasn't she? Yeah, I yeah, bought her for six K. I've yeah, yeah. never gotten a series five in a cash ever. Right. All of you my series fives have been purchased for six K. Okay. Got her day one out of my second cash. What about you, Felicity? Well, must be nice. I, I recently bought Thanos. <laughs> I know Thanos you guys forces. hate so, Thanos. And no, I, th I think Thanos and, Galactus, yeah. Thanos and Galactus are great yeah, candidates I, for that, but they're always going to cost that. Shuri. Mm -hmm. I give you Shuri. Shuri's worth okay. 6K. For now. <laughs> <laughs> we'll talk next week. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> That's very true. But yeah, Master Mole. Um, yeah. Anybody else got Master Mole besides me? Well, I do. You have, do you have to ask? Okay. I've watched a lot of Master Mole. What do you guys feel about it? Who who did get it? Eggs, what do you think? Um I got so much flack on Twitter for posting something. Uh, what? <laughs> I play I really? I why is loot Twitter in being mean? What? Valentine's camera. What? <laughs> <laughs> I just <laughs> noticed that. Oh my I just God. swear, man. Don't worry about it. He's here He's in spirit. Here. I love okay. It. I love it. Um so I play so I got it at reset um and i played it for a good two hours in several different types of decks um and at the end of that time i was just like it's just a card i don't know i didn't feel like i had power over my opponent by putting two cards in their hand i was playing any kind of ronin version of it and just didn't feel if it Listen, we are putting six power into your opponent's hand and i'm only putting two power on the board like i can't understand that were you playing while Orcus was hot? While Orcus? The new it came Orcus? Out last, it came out Is that last what it's called? Like, Orcus, or, 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 right Orcus, or, like, Orcus, like, Orcus, Orcus, Orcus. Um, I played it this morning. I played a bounce version okay. of it this morning. Uh, I didn't it, win. <laughs> all right, I'm just curious if like if people are having more success. Because I, I, I lost to it like two or three times, but like... It's only when that location shows up and I get super fucking clogged. But like, yeah, it's the, yeah, it doesn't seem like it's going to be good outside of this. Yeah, I just got a lot of uh, flack from people on Twitter saying, like, I don't think two hours is enough time for you to make that decision. Oh, I I like, like, yeah, just okay. <laughs> Guess I'll go fuck myself. What the you hell? You know how many games of Marvel Snap you can play in two hours? If you've a got lot. three minutes. <laughs> yeah, that's that is a lot of games. You can that's play. a lot. Um, the mm -hmm. most exciting thing I got from Master Mole was the Dan Hip variant right when I opened my mystery chair. Really? You do that oh, every wow. damn time. Yeah, I, I actually really it. like the variant of it. It's nice. Yeah, it is. The variant's awesome. So I was, I, it made me stay up just a little bit longer to play on stream, and mm -hmm. I was falling asleep. It's the first stream <laughs> I think I was falling asleep with this. I was just like, I can't play anymore. I did the bounce. It was awesome. I did it. But yeah, I agree. It's not, I don't know. I can't do it. Kawa, I know I you got. 
Go ahead. Go ahead. Wait, Val, you're going to say something? No? Yeah, yeah, Val, go ahead. No? no? Okay. Oh, you uh, I think I touched my mic. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Go ahead. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure we all actually, because I saw what you, the deck you were playing on stream, Ken, and that was Shade's deck, and I'm sure 100%. Shade yeah. probably gave the same Send similar deck to you, Eggs, uh, the bounce one. So, like, for the most part, uh, what I kind of took away from it was, like, it was okay. I won most of my games even without playing Master Mode by just doing the general bounce and Rona stuff. Like, it wasn't like, oh, I play Master Mode, I'm going to win. But then, I, like, the more I played it, I was kind of like, like, just a more general, like, generic bounce deck is so much better than this deck that I'm playing at the moment. So, like, yeah, it had its moments. And, yeah, I had two games, one or two games where I played against a Dracula. And I was like, oh, my God, the tech, Master Mode against Dracula. You know what I mean? But it's just, e even at that, it's like, okay, yeah, like, fine. You know what I mean? Like it was, it wasn't like overly impressive, and I kind of agree, agree with Eggs. Like the more I played it, there were games where I kind of got fucked because I was like, well, I'm just giving my opponent six extra power where they can spread in different spots if they want to. So, yeah, I have mixed opinions. He's been a fun card, but please, nobody spend your tokens on this card. Please don't. There's yeah. no reason to, unless they raise the power. I just can't understand only making it a 2-2. It makes zero sense to me. Mm. So. You know, what? it used to be add three Sentinels. Remember, like, I don't know if you guys saw that. When it was yeah. leaked, it used to say add three Sentinels to your opponent's hand. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if still, that still helps. Six power. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Here's six power. Nine yeah. power, yeah, yeah. yeah. Especially yeah. if they have the Quinjet. Want... It's even worse, right? Or nine yeah. power. Nah. Yeah, yeah. I want to try it in, like, a Sarah Miracle deck. Because then you can play Master Mold Ronin. <laughs> <laughs> on turn six you 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 can hide the rona in your hand right you can play it with the master mold out or if you have like maximus you can like just go turn two master mold into maximus mitigate that ability mm. uh it also wouldn't be bad in valkyrie shell because the three power spread doesn't matter oh, i, I mean, hear that stuff like that sure that's probably better but not worse but better not things worth things the though, six yeah. i'm just trying yeah. to give it some <laughs> <laughs> some sense of some goodness. redeeming qualities yeah. not for six thousand tokens but mm, like there, no, there's not at all there's been worse cards Dazzler. have they been True. shadow king yeah Sh yeah shadow king comes Shana. to mind for me. <sighs> i just i just i like shauna i like shauna i just bought shadow king to complete my collection last week um and i have yet to use it so <laughs> if that says well. anything it doesn't work with ongoing, so just be prepared for that. Don't be surprised. I it thought it was ongoing. Me. The one time it generated in my hand, it is not. No, no I thought it worked hard with it. ongoing. Yeah. It does not, which is crazy. <laughs> Nonetheless. I, I could see it becoming an ongoing just so maybe people actually play it. Yeah, mm -hmm. that would make more yeah. sense. It would have been a lot better um, if it was, not I, I agree. Yeah. We have these two cards coming up next. I think these two cards would be the cards that people will be happy with spending their tokens for. Which oh, one yes. of these two are you guys most excited about? Val, I'll start with you. Yes. Uh, I am excited for these cards. Both. Don't make me pick one. How dare Come you? Come on. You got to pick one. Come uh, on. If I really had to pick one, it's probably going to be Negasonic. Um, okay. Just playing the amount of null that I play, Negasonic makes sense for me. Um, and like Kitty, Kitty's going to be a lot of fun, I think, but I have a feeling that we might maybe be overestimating Kitty's ability ability we'll see how much we can actually grow her and what kind of tricks we can play to get her power up a bit uh because remember those of you watching the video she is not a one two like she's on the screen she's a one zero she's zero yeah so it's gonna it's gonna be a little bit of a climb to get her up and you're you're gonna need her early you know she doesn't it's not guaranteed to start in your hand turn one um and negasonic i see being a much later play so I think I think overall I'm leaning towards Negasonic being a card that I use more, but I think I'm more excited to try Kitty Pride. Okay, that's fair. Okay, Eggs, what about you? Uh yeah, I think I agree with that. I think it's pretty hard to do any kind of hand buff, and Okoye only works if you don't draw the card. I I, I don't know. Um, but Negasonic just feels like it's more in the realm of the decks that I like to play as far as destroy goes. So yeah. Okay. Felicity, what about you? Um, I don't know. I don't play much Destroy, um, but I can see how that card can be really interesting and, and really fun to play. Um, and then for Kitty Pride, I actually don't know what it does, but I see you can return this to your hand again. Plus two power. I feel like that can be really powerful, especially as a lower um, 
energy cost card. Um, but otherwise, I haven't, like, you know, looked through and, and tried to come up with anything yet because um, <laughs> I haven't really been keeping up. So this is kind of my first time seeing Kitty Pride. Yeah, that's totally understandable. Yeah, I think Beast, everybody's talking about the Beast making it a zero cost. So if that mm -hmm. happens, I guess, yeah, for sure, we can get it to the highest. We can probably with eight, a zero eight. I mean, that's not bad either, right? Coming mm -hmm. on the last turn. So if oh, I yeah. do the math right. Turn. Yeah, that's if we get she a turn one. She doesn't activate with the beast pickup, though. No, she doesn't. That true. That's no. true. She what? does that's not. Dev so confirmed. Six. So zero six then. So she has so to what? actively be. She has to be dragged back. Drag, to her you hand. have to drag her back. Yeah. So you actually have to play her once. So you have to play her on turn one. Pick her up on turn two with beast. Two. Yeah. And then you get turn three, four, five to actually. Well, because it says six, yeah, it's because you so can yeah. return this to your hand, so it's not like. But when how do you return it to hand? You just you pick just, it up and put it, it in your hand. Drag it back. Yeah. If you yeah. want to, if you want her to mm -hmm. actually return to your hand, like, like say you put her down, and you bring her back, but you decide I don't actually want to play kitty. You have to use the undo button mm -hmm. to get her back to your hand to the start. Of the yeah, game. that's confirmed what by the that? devs. Yeah. It's gonna be oh, it's gonna be interesting to see how this yeah. actually plays out because like you can't. In, you can't actually like put the card down, pick her back up, and then play three cards in that location. Like you shouldn't be able to do that. Mm -hmm. Well, that works well, the same when you're moving cards, Ebony yeah. Maw because it's still right. active in that yes. spot. Right, makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. So that would make sense. Uh, so you can't play Falcon to get the buff either. It just nope. doesn't work that way. No, you, no. you'll come back to your hand, but you're not gonna get a buff. Yeah. It's so weird. Mm. Oh, we're gonna we're gonna science that out. Don't want to worry. <laughs> it's gonna be though. interesting. You know, yeah. Maybe it does work. Who knows? Yeah, yeah we'll see. That's a, yeah, right? Mm -hmm. Who the fuck knows? <laughs> Coco, how you feeling? Which one of these would you want the most? I like them both, but I want Negasonic the most. Just for like uh, like control decks. You can just keep your priority in lane very, very easily. You can just play a Lizard and then play Negasonic and say, okay, deal with it. And uh, Kitty Pride, I want as a Valkyrie finisher. Because like Valkyrie control, you, you sit there floating a lot of mana anyways. <laughs> So you can just keep playing it, bouncing it, and then it like it, it makes your Professor X lane stronger because you can just play it back out on four and threaten the X. Or you, if you don't have the Ant Man, it's like an ant, like a pseudo Ant Man for you with the finish there. Um, okay. Outside of stuff like that, I don't like. Uh, did, will she trigger Collector? No, because she started in your deck. Mm. Oh. Boo. What? No, that Collector counts if you bounce anything back into your hand. Yeah, she should trigger Collector. Yeah. Oh, that's true. Well, oh, no, they you would have to. Falcon you would probably have to skip collector. the turn. Yeah, she. They said she won't like, unless you do Falcon or Beast her. See, so well, what if you actually put her on the board, and then you pick her up in the next turn? Yeah, I think she should work. I would imagine she, so. Does, does this give Valkyrie control another win condition? We can play like Collector and some bounce stuff in the early game. See, listen, I wasn't even thinking of Valkyrie. When you just said put this in Valkyrie control, I'm my face brain just so went quickly. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I've been, so I've been playing a lot of that deck recently. <laughs> yeah. I got to get back to Valkyrie. But oh, yeah. Megasonic, though, I think is good. I, I think she can be great with Destroy, but I think she's going to shine most in decks that aim to stick priority early. She's kind of like a weird arrow in ways. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm just, I imagine yeah. you're playing against like one of those like Sarah decks, and they go like turn one... Uh, Korg into Lizard and then stick Negasonic in the, in the Lizard lane. How are you taking that lane back? Yeah. Pretty good. It's like Vormir, though. You take that loss. Yeah. You throw something in there. You throw the Korg in there as, or the Yandu. It just requires, like, it's just more so like, so like now as the Serral player, I know that you have to commit a resource there that turn. So now you're the one playing from behind. I can now go, if you're going to be playing there, I can now go, okay, I'm going to go, I'm going to go right instead of mid. I know you have to play mid. Yeah. To get rid of this. So cool. now I can just yeah. go over here. You're always playing catch up behind this. Mm -hmm. I feel like I, it makes. Oh, sorry, I feel like it actually makes that null deck that I was talking about with Yukawa work mm -hmm. in terms of trying to get enough power out so that, or, or enough power destroyed so that null is viable. Like you could moon girl this and then play it on, I don't know, oh, yeah. like oh my God, typhoid or a red skull and then turn six null. Oh. oh, that'd be so gross. Oh or protect God. your red skull, right? Fun. Holy shit. Pr protect your big cards, right? Put this right Shuri, next to it. Shuri Red Skull. <laughs> you know what? Yeah, yeah let's wait gonna, another yeah, week on the Shuri gonna, nerf. Hold on. Yeah, yeah. We're yeah. going to dodge the Shang and pass priority. That's pretty Yeah, pretty that's what I'm saying. This, yeah, okay, <laughs> Tower, which one of these two do you prefer? Uh, I actually 
completely agree with what Val said. Uh, I'm probably more excited for Kitty, but I think I'll use Negasonic more. Uh, like, talking about what Coco said, yes, I'm definitely going to try this in the Valkyrie Control now. One thing I want to try, which I don't know if it's actually going to be good, I said this from the start since I saw Kitty, I want to try her in, like, a Lockjaw deck because hmm. it's kind of like, you know, when you play, like, a Baku in a Lockjaw deck and if you, if he gets pulled in the lane, it's like, oh, well, he's not going to jump out of my deck now. But if Kitty gets pulled, you can pull her back to your hand, you can put her back down, and, like, it's kind of just, like, free rotation, so it's kind of acts like Space Stone in, like, the <laughs> Lockjaw deck. So I think that's something that could be interesting, so... I'm going to try her in that deck for sure. Okay. Do we think any of these cards will be broken and cause issues when it comes out? Oh, absolutely. It's Marvel Snap, baby. <laughs> okay. Thank you, sir. All right. But what do you think the yeah. game we're playing, dude? Yeah, I'm going to sell to make sure. This is, sure this is how you, you ever you ever play Marvel versus Capcom 3? You just break shit, man. Yes, this is what Marvel correct. games are all about. You so add a new true. character, it's fucking broken. <laughs> <laughs> I totally agree. So we have, Magneto. <laughs> we have the new locations rolling out now. Um, the first one came out. We're not going to pronounce the first one unless you guys want to try to guess what it is. I know some people feel it's one way. Oh, you can't read it? Orcus? Wanna... Or yes. My eyes or suck. Orcus. I asked the nerds or in chat. The nerd said Orcus, like it's got a K. Okay. Orcus. So. Yes. Orcus. I'm sure the other nerds will correct us, but those or nerds. Ice Forgy. Very cool. Or Ice Forgy. <laughs> <laughs> so. Oh, man. How do you guys feel about this location so far? Have you guys been playing on it? Are you guys excited about it? It's meh. It's, it's yeah. the whatever to me. It's it's yeah. I like it because it's not super impactful. Yes, exactly. I've won a few games just, with those Sentinels. A, and, and yeah, sometimes you want the Sentinel. Yeah. I got a buddy for Sean Chi on turn six now. Thanks. <laughs> there you go. That is fair. Okay, so I'm um, just waiting for the Asteroid M to come out. That should be pretty fun. Um because now with Negasonic 2, I wonder how that's going to work out. Will she still proc after she's moved? I mean, most likely she would be. So that's going to be interesting. Baby. Yeah. Is she yeah. a non-reveal? Or is she just I think she's just a trigger. trigger. Oh, she's a trigger, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's going to be interesting. And now, they've changed the wording for played. So like whatever is played there will still flip, do its ability, and then die, right? Right. Yep. Yeah, yeah. And then we have Kuroko. Caraco, 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 we're just going to the alphabet here. Let's do it. <laughs> <Let's do it. laughs> on turn five, takes Kukoa. over the place. So we got ego, ego on turn five. All right, cacao. That, that should be fun. We're gonna oh, definitely. It's still better. It, again, it's better. I think we talked about this last week than what it used to be. Turn six is what it used to oh, be. Oh yeah, that's, that's get fucking gross. Stupid. Yeah. Turn five is also in, like like this setup turn for all day. <laughs> it, yeah, no, I know it's it's I it's like a weird. Think, I think though, so, yeah, it's like an alternate reality dream dimension where yeah, your card's gonna go down, but not the one you want. So not two days of turn want. five ego. All right, yeah. Guess we got to play wave and magic on that location. But do we there snap on Krakoa too, or? Um, turn oh, five, yes. Only on yeah. turn five, yes. Only on turn five. five. Yeah. Yeah. You have not five, yet snapped. You you always required by law. We need. So what happens if? Krakoa and Ego pop. Good question. Just it's like if Agatha and Ego are going, there's nothing. Form. There's no like real change. Negatives make a positive. Yeah, I if assume you, it's the exact same AI, but for one turn. Yeah, if you yeah. snap with both of those locations on the board, Mephisto just spawns and doubles the cubes. <laughs> 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 That'd be awesome. I had a question about Mephisto. Speaking mm -hmm. of, so if we use Mephisto and we lose. We lose double the amount of cubes. Oh, you don't oh yeah, baby. No. No, you see, not. somebody they told me no. Up. Why? Why is that? No, yeah. You yeah. should though. Does does yeah. the text only say win double if you put it just says win. Board, yeah. Then it yeah, just says win. Don't. It's a I six think you zero, should right? lose double, but you, yeah. if it's okay. if it's you should that's ridiculous. Well maybe not I, I don't know. I did that's crazy. double the stakes. Just say double the stakes if for both players if they don't okay it should only be the person that I think it should be that way. He's a six zero, right? Yeah. yeah. Yes. I mean, yeah. like, if you have to spend your whole turn six doing literally nothing. I mean, people are just going to put him in fucking negative. negative. Yeah. That's all. And they yeah, won't play true. him unless he's negative. I was just going to say Jubilee. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's true. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's Jubilee true. Lockjaw negative. negative. Lockjaw. There you go. Yeah. There we play go. all the zeros. Kang. Null. Yeah, yeah. What happens? Okay. What happens if you Arnim Zola? You get double double? <laughs> There's no oh shot. Oh, my God. God. Two cubes. Oh, my I wanna, God. Because I want to try to do the shortest climb ever. <laughs> Arnim Zola and get like 32 cubes. 
Moon Girl. Wait, is this, this like is the app run right? now. Is like how quickly yeah. can you get? This is the new challenge, right? Chesto this is the new challenge and then video. Climb yeah. from zero to hundred. Yeah. Well, since we're talking about that, how do you guys feel about the new five additional ranks every time you get to the top? Rank? Oh, sorry, I've never seen it before. <laughs> oh, sorry to hear that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry, I don't know what it feels like. Sorry, to, get sorry to hear that. Ranks. <laughs> Felicity, what about you? What rank are you currently? I think I'm 88, but it was definitely kind of weird to go from you know, 80 to 85. Um, it's a huge jump. Um, I, I don't know how I feel about it. Um, it feels like a lot of people are getting infinite, though. Yeah, um, speak for yourself on that one. <laughs> <laughs> I, I agree. Well, I mean, I'm not there. Yeah, I'm you. Yeah, you know, I, I hear a lot of people getting it, so. Yeah, I've seen a lot of people getting it. Yeah, maybe, maybe it's just them, but it, it does seem overall that like more people are, I mean, as a result, more people are going to yeah, get. Yeah, there's a lot of people that have no respect and play leech. That's fair. Well, but... yeah, that's the thing. Yeah, yeah I did yeah, it without I mean, leech. We're, we're players. Relax. We're players that are just like we can't, we can't succumb to. to, to I don't things. know about Coco. Coco, would you do it? With? Leech. Uh, that was. No, 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 no. <laughs> the goal this month was to do it without playing leech, so we did it with, uh, Saro, Valkyrie Control, and Shuri. Nice. Okay. All right. Okay. Mainly Saro. That. And Kawa, you said you jumped up pretty high too, right? Quake, yeah, I've been using Quake, yeah. It's actually been Quake. fun. It's like Quake. It's like it's like you do like Storm on like the right or left lane, and then you Quake, and then you you do like Doom stuff. Actually, here, here's a really cool combo that you guys should try. If you're facing a lot of Arrow, Sh Shade, you know, shout out to Shade, she just makes the most cracked decks in the game. Uh, so she's doing doing like Shuri, you pass on five, and then you play Captain Marvel and She Hulk. Because it's really good against Arrow, so the Captain Marvel well, it's really yeah, good. it's, it's very, really, very, it's very really good. good. I really recommend That's people try it. Sick combo. What are we? What sicko mode? What is it? What replete? What you just said? Sherry on four, pass five, Captain Marvel, and then She Hulk on six. Really I got good. so many eight cubers with that. Yeah, on my climb. me it too. Was ridiculous. So yeah. good. Mm -hmm. Everyone thought it was going to be a Taskmaster, and it beats Arrow, and you just put them both in the same lane. Yep. I have a deck I could slot her into. Mm -hmm. Slot these. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Eggs, you've been streaming too much. <laughs> yeah, eggs on fire right now. I'm sorry. Um, I'm sorry. So yes, yeah, so yes. Um, I think, I I think the five additional cubes is okay, but I think it should have stopped it at fifty, right? So all the newcomers or all the people who slide all the way back down mm -hmm. below fifty, they should be able to get back to fifty-five, and then that's it. I think that's what they should have. I have to answer that. Question. I I think that's like okay. not a horrible idea but i i saw cozy i think it was cozy and alex podcast they suggested maybe not in the 90s i think if you stop it at 90 that's probably better um <clears throat> i will say i i think it has an adverse effect when you do get those 50 and you start slipping back down <laughs> Boy, does that feel real fucking bad to just have to make that <laughs> climb back up anyways, dude. Yep. Oh, my God. I went down to 82, I think, after getting the 5 to 85. And, like, I got back up to 85. But, fuck, man. That feels bad. Yeah, yeah. I feel like at this point we should just put the the floors at the zero marks and just call it a day. Because that's what everybody wants. It doesn't make any sense. To, it's not injecting cubes into no. the economy no. by giving us five levels doesn't Bots make any are sense. still there it's like yes, there's no the there's no real rhyme or reason it's a band-aid it's another band-aid on another problem in the game i do like it like you said to 90 though because that means everybody can get like a good shot at getting yeah all the good rewards. exactly exactly you get that that the the gold you get your credits yeah. you get the avatar that's, and that's like the monetary value and then you get the the bragging rights if you make it 10 more ranks, you know, you get mm -hmm. to throw that card back down on all the seventies that you're going to face once you hit infinite bragging okay. rights. That's funny. That's yeah. Right. Nobody cares about <laughs> infinite. I don't know what you're talking about. Nobody cares. People um, in infinite are sweaty for no reason. I just have to say that. Stop sweating just, in infinite. I just got it because I have some dumbass compulsion. And then once I get it, I don't want to play at all. All I want to do is battle mode. Actually, That's <laughs> actually what happens, avoid the ladder for the rest of the month. That's what happens. When you get there, you're like, all right, I'm good now. I'm done. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You do everything else. So I totally get it. Totally understand that. Now we have this steampunk variant rush coming. 
Um, are you guys excited about these variants? That yellow jacket looks sick, I think. Really yes, cool variant. That's the, that's the best one, I think, too. I think the Cerebro so. one is the only one I'm interested in. Okay. <laughs> what is that? It's like, is it like tin cans for eyes? What the fuck? Yeah, man. Yeah. It's what fucking is? steampunk, dude. Pipes and goggles. Pipes and goggles. They love goggles. <laughs> dude, they fucking love goggles. <laughs> fucking pipes and goggles. <laughs> pipes and goggles. Like Cerebro is literally pipes and goggles. That is in a brain. That's, that's, all, that's all it is. Absolutely right. Is steampunk the definition? <laughs> so this is coming out on the Twitter. I, I like the state. Sentinel one that we got. Oh, sorry. Oh, gears. Okay. Yes. Pipe, gears, goggles. Pipe, gears, PG. and goggles. That's correct. So it's coming out on the 21st, so about six days from now. Mm -hmm. um, should be interesting. See what happens. I would definitely like to get all of these, but it is what it is. We'll see how that goes. Now, there are a bunch of bundles that came out. Um, did you guys purchase this bundle here? With Mr. Sinister yes. and Bishop? Okay. Because it came with 15 tokens, so I think it was worth it. 4,000 gold. Not bad. Um, we have some other bundles coming. I cannot wait for this there Archangel. Yeah. This, Lord. this Archangel is yeah, it's good. Can Angel now take over the meta? That'd be amazing. Let's see how that works. <laughs> I'll, put a, I'll put him in a deck or two to run that fucking card. Why not? Listen, just to do it. Hands down, down. We will. I'm here for the 1500 credits. <laughs> okay, fair enough. That's going to be awesome. <laughs> and those, are the, those are the two bundles that are coming out. I like that Sentinel. Month. They're going to yeah, come through the next series. Too. I think, I mean, I think next week Tuesday. This week, Tuesday, like, no, 400. that comes out tonight. The mutant no. masterpiece comes out tonight. Oh, this one comes out tonight. Perfect. Yeah, I just looked oh. it up. It's tonight. Hell yeah! Cool. Oh, that's amazing. All right, guys. So let's make tonight, sure as here. in three fifteen, as in when this podcast is up. That's right. <laughs> so it's gonna be awesome. I can't wait to see that. Yeah, I definitely want to get that angel. That's gonna be awesome stuff. All right, so now we could talk about the most important thing, and that's how great the meta has been so far. How do you guys feel about this meta? <laughs> Don't laugh. It's the truth. The meta's been phenomenal. Has it not been? How do you guys feel so far about being leached every every third game? Honestly, as of like two days ago, I feel like Leech has toned the fuck down. For me, at least, I don't I don't speak for everyone here. I've seen way less Leech. I mainly play on stream. I only counted like three five leeches yesterday That's a little bit. Okay. <laughs> in oh, a four fine. hour stream um so that is that is more than one leech an hour which you know not ideal but um i feel like i'm seeing way less um i also got to beat half of them so if, if you're playing leech on five you're doing it wrong in oh yeah in summation i think we i think we can all Imagine understand if you're five you're spending yeah you're you're five energy on three fucking power <laughs> and yeah i definitely can't Anyways, other than that, it's fine. I think Shuri is, is really the problem these days. Shuri, yes. we're bl blaming Shuri. We're not Shuri blaming, and Arrow. Um, we're not, we're not I blaming. don't want Arrow to change. I fucking love Arrow. You can make her pull in order. Yes, okay with that. That's yes. fine. That's that. I think yeah. is a fair change that actually would balance balance things on both sides. How you're playing Arrow, where you're playing Arrow, and how as an opponent when you're expecting Arrow, you're gonna totally change up some of your plays especially against galactus i i think as galactus i would have a lot more fun playing against an arrow if it pulled in order and i would feel like i fucked up if i got hit by it yeah uh, so uh, that's fine shuri shuri is also kind of a problem just i think she needs to only affect the next turn i think the skipping into she hulk and taskmaster yeah that's is the big problem mm. But other than that, that's an interesting point. I didn't really think about the not that's having really only cool account for the next yeah. turn. Yeah, yeah. I think that'll that just be stuff. mana reduction. Yeah. It's a problem in like every single card game that has resources. Yeah, it's all like Quinjet's a problem, She Hulk's a problem. Uh, if you go to Magic, anything that was mana reduction is a problem. Well, Quinjet's a problem because of how cheap it is. If it if it, it like even if that was a two cost, it would be better. Like. Again, I don't even want to say this because I think Quinjet overall is mostly okay. The stones are the problem when it comes to Thanos, and those should just start in the deck, and that solves that problem. But the whole thing is like four say. now. All right, yeah, okay. Oh, Space, what you say. Space Stone also maybe needs a little bit of a rework. 
it's not. I, I, I don't think it's like I was talking, I've been talking about this a lot on Twitter and then in, in chat. When I understand people saying just like make them start in the deck, but I like how Snap is coded and how it works. I'm pretty sure it's a lot to do with the code, is because it's like you have a 12 card deck that makes and sense. it's like with stones they get added like you can't have like a whatever it is like a 16 or 18 card deck and people are like oh it's just oh, just fix the code just change it it's like you put it is a 12 you know what i mean and i i laugh at these people i say just just change their code the game it's easy i'm like it's it's not it's not in, easy. well okay then if change, you're change. if you're making it if you're making you if you can't make them start in the deck you can put them at a like a, just like something like Miles Morales. Miles Morales can't go past a, a one. Make them at a base cost one. You cannot reduce them to zero. Yeah. Just, yeah. Um, but the problem Sarah's with that is then, Quinget. like, you should. The problem with that is you should be able to benefit from something like Elysium showing up. You know, you get a good location. You should be able to benefit from it. You shouldn't be punished just because. Wait, would that not work with Elysium if it pops up? No, that's what I'm saying. So it, if you're setting the base cost at a reduction to one, like it can mm. only be reduced to one because like Miles Morales, for example, gets reduced to one. But if Elysium shows up, he's not a zero cost. He's still a one cost card. OK. Yeah, that, I feel like that's such annoying text. I just yeah. see like these the text of these cards getting longer and longer because every time somebody talks about it, it's like, oh, Coco, Quinjet shouldn't, shouldn't apply oh, sh for shouldn't apply to uh, the stones. I was like, OK, so it says uh reduces the cost of cards that didn't start in your deck except for thanatus stones <laughs> yeah, I, that's, that's, <laughs> some people have said that about like oh that's how you fix negative just say well the power of the power and energy of these cards cannot be swapped I'm like well that's like literally saying right you can't use this in a you know what i mean it's like specifically right, yeah, you can't a card text how, that you how hard is it to code keywords with it. which what, how does it take code keywords so like because of because of them having keywords. to interact with everything, and because there are probably a lot of hidden keywords, I think it probably more and more work than you would have. Assume. What if Quinjet just had Sarah's text? You can't reduce below one. That's that's more. But like again, I think your attack. If you attack Quinjet for the problem, you're you're attacking like the wrong I'm thinking thing. Future, right. There will eventually yeah. be something that comes out again that Quinjet will be broken again. Sarah will be broken again. Wave will be broken. Man reduction always ends up being broken. Again. I un yeah, I understand. That's, I understand the minimum, the minimum one thing. And like, if it happens, it happens, and some people will be mad. Like the, the like one thing I was thinking was, oh, what if you just make all the stones two? But then in doing that, I'm like, it's weird because like, even I'm though you don't play, you don't yeah, yeah like you, but you like you don't play Thanos for like his you know benefit like you don't you're, you're always gonna proc My thanos product, then right. if you make them if you make them too you're never proccing thanos like do you know what i mean so mm -hmm. it's like I, I, the, in that regard you're like playing a time stone just so you can fucking play a stone next turn you like, gotta look at the percentage base, correct. Right? Like, correct. Correct. That's a, all your games you need a hundred percent more mana yeah for yeah. all of all of your stones it's it's almost like when it you look at like sarah reducing game. a two cost seven <laughs> turns seven turns <laughs> everything's resolved <laughs> That could Limbo happen too. Is now nine turns. That actually would hurt my Four brain. lanes, yeah. 18 turns. Let's fucking go. <laughs> six cards. We gotta go back to the 2v2 we talked about. Two cards in your deck. <laughs> wow. Okay, so we all agree, or we all think Shuri will get nerfed where we only can play. She only gives power to the next card play. Now. That's a really cool change, I think. Yeah. I think that's the easiest way to fix that. Yeah. While still okay. making her, like, in general, work, like, function the same way. Yeah, she'd still be cracked. That deck would still be yeah. very No, easy. I mean she should she should be able to put down massive power. I um, also think that she shouldn't be an on reveal. How she would Oh, I like that. I actually that like it, that. It will stop Comertage and also Wong. Yep. Then how do you stop uh, the tree? You don't. But I'm just thinking in terms of like being able to double it. No, she's just a trigger. I really. But like then that. how? So if it's oh, yeah, if it's just, just a trigger. trigger, does it just does it just say the next card you play yeah. doubles power? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Because then then there's no chance of it quadrupling, and you've got right. hundred power cards coming out. Yeah, yeah. That kills Puffy Jacket. I'm all, I'm totally okay with that. Kill it. <laughs> Had its time. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I like no that. Wong. No Comertage. Yeah. No two forty red skulls. Yeah. No bar sinister. Honestly, if if you put that limitation on the card, it it like it just brings in so many other cards now that you don't like that you can play with Shuri because you're not forced to include shit like Wong. Right, like right. 
you know, like absorbing man, like whatever yeah. the fuck you're trying to do. I feel like it's so weird though. I feel like like it's because it's a, it's a, it is a really good suggestion. I love the suggestion, but I feel like people will be like, oh, like like Coco, like Coco said, oh well, now we can't counter it. It's just like you're always gonna, you know what I mean? It, it's you know, it's it's one of two ways. Like you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. right. Scapegoat me like that. We'll see what happens, <laughs> yeah, right? Kidding. We expect this patch next week. We'll see what happens, right? Um, what about arrows? Arrow getting nerfed as well. No matter what nerf you do to her, power wise or cost wise, she's still gonna be good. Mm -hmm. Like she's yeah, just need... a powerful card. We need I mean, if order. they maybe it's just like if it's order or if it's one card, then I feel like that'd be very different. If it's one, if it's card, just one card. I think the that's first card you play killed. this turn. If it is no. my card, it'll kill it, yeah. That'd be uh, uh, kill it, yeah. That that leech, I mean that leech, that'll leader it for sure. I, I, also, I don't want to get rid of too much like, Yeah, that would limit too it. much interaction. Yeah. Because like with arrow, you still kinda gotta work for the win. Like you have to be winning. Right. Yeah. Normally, no, you, you have to sit there normally, and think there about is, your play. Yeah. That's okay. the same thing leader player I like the, said. I like the order. No, God no. You don't have to think about <laughs> shit with leader. You just have to be winning in general. With arrow, you gotta do like lane management. Hey, what about Thanos? They say Thanos are getting leads. I mean, leads getting nerfed. I think I think that changes more the like focused at stones probably. Glenn specifically, um, your favorite pointed Glenn. out. Yeah, my favorite. Glenn <laughs> specifically pointed out Reality Stone and Space Stone in a uh, a Discord answer uh, within the last twenty four hours. So, <clears throat> I wonder if maybe we see certain stones cost more or certain stones have. Slight adjustments. Uh, I really like the suggestion that Space Stone can only move a card that was already present when it was played. Um, so there, no more using it to uh, cycle something out with Lockjaw and then getting to move that big card that you just pulled out of Lockjaw with Space Stone. That's really cool. Like that. But then, like, like what Eggs was saying, it's just weird to have like to have that text on a card. It's like yeah. if a card is present, you, you know, it's just it's, it's just like weird. Mental Olympics. To I mean, it's not, not that's not that difficult, right? Because it it says what right now it says draw one card, and you can move one card from this location. Yeah, you could move one present present existing. card. Yeah, right. It's present, like but it's, it's not like it's like existing. a new word, an existing, a present card. I, I don't know. Yeah. Oh, there's gonna yeah. be new words added in, all the time. There's always keywords and shit. Added. You guys, they don't want to add before? keywords though. They've been very, very vocal about that. Where like they, they, trigger was a keyword at one point, and they were like, no, it's too many. <laughs> We've, seen we already text, have right? too many. I've seen Yu-Gi-Oh text. I've seen the, Yu -Gi -Oh that is the worst. We don't need any more of that. I yeah, we don't need any more. Yu-Gi-Oh is the most broken game in the history of ever. Still love it though, but we don't need any more of those long <laughs> texts on the card for yeah. sure. I right, just so I don't know what they could do with Thanos. It just doesn't. The only thing that I th could think of is have the card start in your deck, and but I don't just don't know how difficult that is to do. If they just got um, rid of Leech, would it make the Thanos deck just feel better? Delete Leech. Yeah, I'm 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 fine with that. Oh, no, we keep God. Leech. Just give it a knock. It the next Did they see? Did they say Leech is gonna get pushed? No. Did no, he has been no. mentioned no. zero number of times. They, from the they could simply just because you. Look at it. Just gonna the leech it. leader. Leech was I found leech to be more annoying than leader. Yeah. When leech leader was a thing. And then we had like that little spat of like Zabu because that was just cracked. And That's then the now we're right back ever. to leech. Like we, we think about every time you played against Lockjaw decks before, did you feel bad when they just shit out fatties on you? No, you're like, ah. Shit out fatties. <laughs> it feels really it feels really bad <laughs> when they go like turn three. Lockjaw. Plus, they get their discounted stones, and then they're they're gonna go plus plus three cards because like they're they're playing three but replenishing. Those three are now becoming five and six drops, and they're gonna like negate your hand. I feel yeah, like normally, it's like the next. It could just be like a Cosmo that it's like the next card that's played loses its ability. Or cards just play around it, no. Make make them more more on. Yeah, flavors. sure. That's the point. I just don't think that it should destroy your entire hand. Pick the two yeah. cards on the left. And that's it. Like cheating. normally against Lockjaw, you can yeah. just like hold a Shang Chi. You're like, okay, they're cheating. I was gonna say fatties, but they're cheating. <laughs> I've used boy. that word for like big boys forever in card games. The fat, they got fat <laughs> stats. Ph. I'm overweight. I can say these things, right? <laughs> so, yeah. So, but like a lot of times, it's like, we, like, eggs. You were a Lockjaw player for a while. 
how often would you play lockjaw big things would come out and then your opponent could just shang that lane right out of existence all the time yeah but now i have well, that's why we have that's why we have dracula and yeah, you know, yeah. but there is jubilee there counter only pulls wasp so yeah. I don't know. What you guys are <laughs> no, see, like, and I'm, that's what I'm saying. I like Lockjaw like that. I don't like Lockjaw that's gonna go. Here's all my big boys, and then Leech pops out behind him and says, "You're also not beating." Us. Yeah. And then I now I'm like... gonna move. And then now Bluestone's also gonna pop and move this big boy over or move the Lockjaw. Yeah, those are the two worst things to pop out of a Lockjaw. Honestly, I don't care if you're pulling a Thanos, a Dino, any big card. If you if a Leech comes out or if a Stone comes out, that's, that's what makes great. me annoyed. Yeah. You steal a lane with the big guys, and but I can still play for the other two. But when my whole hand is negated, I can't play for the other two. It's like, well, do you I'm remember when Petri Jubilee today, so. <laughs> Jubilee only pulled Chavez? Oh, good times. Those were the days. Those, those were good yeah. times, right? Those were good times. Those were good times. Oh, yeah. Eggs, eggs, you didn't play during that time, did you? No? I don't think so. When was yeah, this? I'm used to playing in August. She used oh, to pull the top beta. card from your deck. Oh, yeah, beta. Mm. And basically, if Chavez. At any Chavez point, is always the top card. She is. Yeah. yeah. If it yeah. ever like hit the top of your deck, it literally like like it would sit there and just like you you'd just draw the, from underneath it. The Yandu conundrum. Yeah, it was the same thing yes. with Yandu. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That, deck you that used to be. You remember Okoya used to be plus two as well. So you oh, play like so Jubilee good. and Chavez was a ten as well. So Chavez would be a. Uh, uh, what, a 12. 12? And okay, yeah. it cost one. Yeah. She cost one. Yeah, she and then you'd end four. the game with a Carnage then, on Nova, and everybody and would get hit fucking everybody. plus two. <laughs> Naki hit your whole hand. At one point, Cable is the best deck card in the game. The oh, my Nikia, God. Nakia Swarm. Like, remember Swarms? It's so, oh, it's yeah. so Swarm. funny to like, look oh, back God. on these God, remember when this I'll game was like... broken? Yeah. <laughs> I just want to be able to put 40 points of power with Sarah on six again. Please, just let me do it. Do you think... Okay, here's an interesting question. Do you think, like, if the if these... So when the game was quote unquote broken or these cards were in the game back in beta, but the player base was as big as it was, like these things would be like, oh, this is like ridiculous now. Cause like back then the player base was so small. It's like, oh yeah, this is like, it yeah, people were complaining about Nova, but people were like, yeah, it's fine. You know what I mean? And I also think it, cards were limited as well, right? You know, like we all, you know, we didn't have as access. To I mean, as it took us cards. what, three months for anybody to get a full collection. So mm -hmm. yeah. 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 I think um, the decks would still be the same, just more refined because more people are playing. Like, like, like th those cards were still inadvertently like the most powerful. Act. A lot of those archetypes and like the, the shells from those decks still exist and are still used. Yeah, like like fucking Miracle Sarah so is still right, right. very, so very similar yes. to what it was back then. Mm -hmm. But not, not Sarah negative though. I missed that. Oh, that was fun. Sarah, Sarah negative. negative was so much fun. Want turn six magic? That came back for a second, didn't it? Uh, yeah, but still not the same. <laughs> Sad. That, that was fun. Very dangerous. But Felicity, you just brought Thanos. How do you feel that next week is gonna get that whole is gonna get uh nerfed? Um you spent I don't want it to get nerfed because I just got the card. So right. I mean I know you guys hate playing Thanos and Shuri, but I recently got all of those cards. <laughs> Hang on, we never um, said we, we don't hate we, we don't playing, hate playing it. <laughs> we hate playing against those guys. Yeah. 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 I mean, what you guys are saying, you uh, no, I'm not playing Thanos or Shuri, you know. Um, well, but for me, you know, I, I recently got those cards. I recent like you know a few weeks ago, I got Red Skull as well, which I didn't have. So there's a lot of stuff that I didn't have, and finally now it's my moment to, to you know, to dunk on the scrubs. <laughs> <laughs> So um, it's it's been fun, but um, also, I mean, I'm seeing a lot of the same. I'm seeing a lot of Shuri and Thanos as well. So, uh, you know, my games have kind of been like 50-50. I'm not really winning a whole lot if I'm facing the same exact decks. Um, so I guess I don't have a very strong opinion of what they end up nerfing because to me, I guess like, I, since I'm facing the decks, I'm also getting screwed over by the same things. Mm. Um, so uh, it's it's not. I could go either way on it. Yeah, I I don't know. Like the thing is about like the whole like Thanos thing is that I I don't hate Thanos. I actually loved the Thanos. Like one of my favorite ones was just like the Thanos Lockjaw without Leech, where you just pull big cards and stuff like that. I personally just think it is it is like when I see Thanos, I'm like, well, okay, I'm not worried about whatever Thanos is gonna do. I'm worried about Leech. That's what it is when I see it. You know what I mean? So, I, I, that's not me saying you know change Leech or whatever. But there's cards. If Leech wasn't there and Thanos was normal, I don't think it would be as bad. That's my take. But I don't know. Yeah. 
Thanos mirrors are fun. When you just like, I'll take a Thanos mirror all day long, but the minute Leech happens, you're like, oh, fuck, I'm out of here. Yeah. Yeah. The, the only issue I'm seeing a lot, too, in this current season, uh, besides the MMR, right, is that people are retreating way more than they did in the previous seasons. So, yeah, Shuri. if you play Galactus, the minute you play, oh, if you even play Shuri, the minute you put Shuri down, retreat. The minute you play Galactus, retreat. <laughs> it, 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 everybody's just retreating now. And you're not getting those cues. But, yes, if you stay in for eight cubes, you know, most of the time, you lose those. You're losing cubes. those. Yeah, which is hard. <laughs> you should be yeah. retreating. So, now my question is is that retreat, is that on the person retreating or is that on the person not snapping before they show the Shuri or the Galactus? No, you still snap. We get two cubes, though. That's the whole oh, okay. problem. I'm climbing with two cues every yeah. time. Like I'm playing Galactus, right? Wave, Galactus, Spider Man, retreat. That's it. That's Get probably just cues. a Galactus deck thing, though. Anyways, most of the time. You expect yeah. me to wait through an uh, you Spider Manning? <laughs> yeah, please. Yes, yes. <laughs> then, well, I'm give me my eight cues four. or four. I will take four. Give my. Four. Oh, okay. So I'll just I'll just <laughs> enter. I'll just, I'll just I'll cubes. Yeah. I yeah. think no matter what yes. meta we see, we, we're gonna start to see retreats trending upwards. Look at poker. Yeah. How often do you fold when I'm, you play poker? Like you're, you're folding way more than you're staying in. That was that's Stop been the talk. Logic on me. That's been the talk <laughs> for for how long now? It's like, how do you climb? You learn how to retreat. Like my retreat. Fuck like everyone. Long I learned how to retreat, man. <laughs> Everybody did learn how to retreat. I'm Shit, sure. retreating though. I I'm, I just want to yeah, know what's gonna retreat. happen. Right. I know. I feel that way too. You want to play like infinite gamers and just go? I know I lose this, but let's see what happens. What happens? I don't yeah. retreat when I get to infinite. I always let it just go. Yeah, but uh, that's the. I think this kind of is like forty-one percent. That's the. Yeah. Sorry, I was gonna say that's the content creators and those other things. Like I'm exactly. like I want to see it because like you know I'm probably gonna lose, but who knows what's gonna happen? And then you get a yes. baller clip. I'm like that was so worth it, so worth mm -hmm. it. That is so true. I mean, mm -hmm. it's it's like when you're watching. It's why I like I don't watch poker anymore. I used to watch a lot more poker when like I had insomnia and I was 20 years old and I drank way too much. And like for whatever reason, <laughs> poker was the one thing that I could watch. So I watched a lot of fucking poker. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Um, but like, <laughs> like the most entertaining thing about poker is getting to see what both sides are doing. Right. Like you still. It's why snap as like a in a tournament setting is really invigorating too because you're watching both sides try and figure each other out and you're you see the hands you see what could happen and you just watch them fuck up and it's so glorious <laughs> and like you you get to still see the outcome even if the outcome doesn't happen so like as a content creator and Cobb was right you you want to deliver that end result for your audience because you only have half of the information how else do you give it to them you fucking just sit it sit it out you let them have the That's fucking the cubes. cubes yeah, yeah. That's why I hate boomer snapping. I do it too much. Like snapping. I, on, too. Snapping I created a boomer snap uh, emote today because I <laughs> I can't stop boomer snapping. Like it's just it's good I with just Kang. I don't trust myself cute. anymore. No, I don't trust myself. I don't, we we I haven't don't, earned that trust. I don't know. But you can never. No, that's good. You're not, you know, you can never really trust it fully, right? It's always a gamble. Right. I'm just teamed as if my hand has the cards that normally win the game. Eh, hit the snap button if you lose. Yeah. Oh well. You're really infinite good. right now, right? Yeah. Yeah, shut up. <laughs> I know. I had that, uh, hold on, hold on. I had that mantra prior to hitting infinite. I'm like yeah, a turn I'm two, turn three snapper, right? Leave me alone. But I, if even if I'm a turn three snapper and I'm like, this is, as Dexter says, the nuts, I they leave. They're like, oh, yeah. okay. Yeah, it's I've, I've honestly seen a huge, like, retreats in general, but a huge uptick in the, like, the turn two snap. The number of people who just go, nope. Yep. Nope. And they leave. I'm done. I'm they out. Leave. I don't even need to see the third location. You snapped, I'm done. Yeah. So that's what happens. That's the worst. That, that's a, but if you get like three of those in a row, that's like winning a four cube game because you can bang out. You know what? That's fair. It probably games. took about the same amount of time as one game. Yeah. <laughs> so that's fair. It don't feel if good. I'm playing, if I'm playing logic, Thanos, Coco, what the fuck? If I'm playing I don't Thanos like and logic. I have like Quinjet, yeah, Mindstone, feel good. or Lockjaw, Quinjet, or Mindstone, right. and Lock, it's insta snap. And generally, like, if you do it before, if you do it on turn one, they'll stay, and then sometimes they'll wait and lose the four cubes because even though they should have left, they've been tricked by their own hand. They're like, look at their hand trying to like navigate the what if play. So you do it on one before you show it to them, then they get to turn six, end up staying in for the four cubes anyways. I just like whenever I see a, a Quinjet and stones coming in, I'm like, my 
my day is ruined. It's just like, oh, it, I just, it just feels awful. Cause like, I'm, I'm thinking in my head, kind of like what Goku said, I'm thinking in my head, like, oh, okay, I have decent cards. I can probably maybe beat this. And like, you know, as long as Leech isn't getting pulled or something like that. And then it just happens. I'm like, what, what, oh, why, why did I even say? Why did <laughs> I stone even... comes down on three. You panic. It's going yeah. into a lockjaw. And fuck it's it. They didn't even three. need it. Cause yeah. here comes Leech out of the lockjaw, the anyways. Oh, yeah. 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 I'm, but there's always Blue much... Marvel, too. You're like, oh, <laughs> oh yeah. exactly enough. But if they have Blue Marvel, <laughs> oh, yeah. I fucked. And there's always a Blue Marvel. Pretty much, I always believe my opponent when they snap. If I have to look at a board and be like, well, my opponent has to make a mistake and then miss a draw and then I win, I just believe. Yeah, him. that's fair. Okay, take yeah. notes, guys. Bluff snap Coco all the time. Yes. <laughs> well, no, no, hold on. My, time out. But if my hand's playable into the match, I'll stay. I don't always leave on snaps. I said if my hand's <laughs> shaky and some act of God has to happen for the win to be fair, just leave. Hand shaky. What happened to the people who stayed in when they got Spider Man on turn five? Eggs. What happened to those people? <laughs> what happened to those people? <laughs> where, where, where they people? got Spider Man on turn five. Them. That's what happens yes. to them. Where they go? Come on. I want to know why in. bots won't stay in anymore when I snap. Yeah. What the fuck is that, man? They don't stay <laughs> for bots. shit. If you're gonna tell me that you're gonna give That's me true. bots so that I can like gain my ranks back, they shouldn't be able to leave. Give me my eight cubes, bitch. <laughs> That's what you're here for. Yes. Bullshit. The only the only bots that. that give you eight cubes anymore, like you you are on turn three and you're just going, what the fuck is this person doing? Yeah. And then you get to the end of the game and you go, oh, this was a fucking bot. Oh, yeah. okay. Like yeah, yeah. from the the get, like this bot was determined to give me four cubes, not eight cubes, nice four cubes. That was it. They were never gonna snap back at me, and they were never planning to win. Are you guys the same as me when sorry eggs? Are you guys the same as me when you see like a a bot like either the Inkify ball, or, uh, the Inkify with no effect or gold? I just always snap, always snap every time I see oh, yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. I do. Yeah. I snap but but also. Yeah, I should. <laughs> I I always snap, but also if they don't snap me back when they have like priority and they're mm. winning, I'll I'll be like, what if I can like beat bait the AI so I like snap question mark snap question to see if I can <laughs> maybe I can convince the bot to it snap could just be a dinner employee on the other end being told yeah. take cubes or take their cubes exactly. I mean there's hey there's there's tinfoil hats out there saying that uh bots can now emote once or uh react to a card once wow well, really wow I think that's okay. bullshit they, they really won't do anything that. twice, but they'll only do it once, and it'll be like, I, I don't know if it's, I think it's, it's specific cards. There's like key cards, and then it's usually like a hello. I think it's the emote. Okay. So, Interesting. Uh, tinfoil hat, the... unconfirmed, but no. Uh, I had somebody in my chat that was trying to convince me that something wasn't a bot because in beta you could split inks without a flare and golds without a flare. Yeah, yeah uh, not golds. <laughs> And no, I was like, uh, "Oh yeah, we didn't yeah, have no. inks and gold. It you, was it was can... gold. We didn't have inks. Yes, On gold, have you inks. could get, yeah, right. But like, they didn't go. They didn't retroactively make those RGB flares, did they? I don't know. We have to ask, no. we have to ask metal because metal had a had no, a, a gold AM still flare. has his dino. Okay. okay, there you go. Yeah, no metal. Metal's piss deck definitely has <laughs> something without flare. He's gonna love that I called him. That. I'm not the only <laughs> one who calls him pissbacks. Thank you. Yeah. Oh my. <laughs> I got no, I think I think like Angela Twitter Twitter called it a piss deck one time, and he, he does not like it that we keep calling it that. But I'm deck, never yeah. gonna stop. That's so wow. sad. That's that's great. I just got a piss Wolverine. It looks like piss now with the <laughs> right now. So that's pretty. That's pretty good now. That, thanks for telling me that. Oh, I got a oh, piss baby Shang Chi. It was nice. <laughs> a piss baby. I cannot. That's what we call oh it. My, God. <laughs> my piss Wolverine. I love it. It's great. <laughs> Thank you, Val. That's awesome. You're welcome. <laughs> My pleasure. The best is when you get a piss back with a piss crackle. You can't beat that. I got oh, one. Hell yeah. <laughs> so it looks like it's, it's like the end of the Oh, street, I have a piss you know? crackle <laughs> mystique. Oh, hell yeah. That's I just correct. finished going. It's a little bit of... Oh. Are we done? <laughs> <laughs> we just, I think we've yeah, gone too far. We, I think we definitely have. We gotta, we'll pull this back. You guys have anything else you want to talk about? <laughs> oh, my Pooping God. shocker? What about, VC what about VCR Dick Wolverine? Whoa! whoa, whoa. Dick? Oh yeah, no, that's yeah. Wemo. He's got a Wemo for a dick. I thought it was any Wemo. Is that a VCR? I thought it was a VCR. I, I've I've called it VCR Dick Wolverine. Yeah. See, there we go. 
Felicity's looking like, what are you guys talking yeah, about? I have what? no idea. Oh, yeah, but Wolverine we're gonna, is. We're going to pull this Schmied. up on stream, guys. Schmied. Schmied. Yeah, go ahead. Pull up VCR Dick Wolverine. Just type that right into Google. <laughs> Dude, not, see what hold you on. Get. Is, it, is it adamantium? Uh, yeah, it's the adamantium. <laughs> no, 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 no. Is, or X23. <laughs> is, is, oh, is, is the VCR is it, adamantium? Is, the, is it adamantium? <laughs> Please I mean, it is, that, it is post X, it, it is post, uh, weapon X. So yeah, I, I don't, I think all it's of It's not these... a real bone though. I'll show you weapon X. Okay. I think it's not a real bone. <laughs> it's not a real bone. I, I mean, I, I'm not, it's Wolverine. It could be. Oh, you there have it. Oh, okay. yeah, there it is. oh I have seen that. It's just not a VCR. <laughs> all right. You know what? That's okay. Like emote -ish. I'll, I'll, I'll give X that. It's a good thing they backlit him here, or else we'd see the shadow. It's like it's like a Wiimote from a knockoff Wii that has 256 <laughs> preloaded games. Who allowed this? Who's I don't know. Who's who's that that back this that's Weapon okay. X Wolverine. This has been a thing since yeah. what? The 70s? The 80s? Yeah, can we see Pixel again? Now, hold on. Can you go to a regular picture? Oh, no. We've entered the part of the stream where Ken just starts showing off. Go to Pixel Wolverine for a second. Go to Pixel Wolverine for a second. Pixel. So on the right. Pixel. Top right. Yeah, yeah. So good. Top right. So now, oh, you don't do have you animated. think that the VCR is just overcompensation? Look here. Wow. Oh, there's a bit of bulge there, buddy. Oh my God! No, he's talking about the line on the left. Yeah. Yeah. Right? yeah. It's uh -huh. not VCR. I didn't even look at that. The there's a Wii in there. There's a Wii in there. Yes. Not a full this... This video cast has just gotten so much better. No, this, this always happens. Whenever Coco comes on one of these, he's always like, okay, so upgrade Pixel Shocker to see him pooping, guys. Pixel it's Poop literally. Shocker is the greatest yeah. thing. It's like Professor Pixel X. Poop. Oh, God. Is this like Mod Pixel Modoc? Pixel Modoc. Do you have yeah, Pixel oh. It's like Pixel Modoc, but this is an actual brown poop coming look, out of look, look, look at him. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I didn't even realize. I'm not even doing that. I'm not even going to do that. Wait, uh, no, I have to see Pixel Modoc. What about Pixel oh Arnimzola? Pixel, Ar <laughs> Pixel Arnimzola. I do not understand what is on that fucking loincloth. I it's really like don't holy hand understand. Grenade. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. That's the holy hand grenade. grenade. Oh, yeah, that's the holy hand grenade. Uh, uh, wait, is that inkified with RGB uh, uh, flare? Yeah, it oh, is. Cool. Jesus yeah, yeah. Christ. Yeah, yeah. You guys know me already. Come on. All right. So you want to see Modoc? Oh. Pixel Modoc after Mexico. Very shit in Pixel Modoc. I don't think it's five what? Five, there we go. There he is. Yeah, <laughs> shit and blood, baby. Yeah. <laughs> Fiery discharge. Oh my oh, god. Of course. Can we make tell it animated? Tell Let's me it, like, it, like, it's oh, bouncing yeah, if, as it hits the ground or something. Yeah, if it's, uh, if it's animate, wait, we don't have enough boosters, do we? I don't know. We'll That'll see. So. Tech doesn't have the boosters? No. I don't play Modoc that much down. right now. <laughs> I do not. Okay. Oh, no. Uh, <laughs> all right. When I do, face looks like we'll never know. We'll have we'll to follow up on episode forty. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, that's hilarious. Any other oh. pixels you want to see? <laughs> no, no, never. No, we don't want to down the pixel. No, first of all, pixels are the best fair. Oh, here he goes. Oh, there he goes. Uh, Pixel Defender 69 is why do you going. hate your eyes? Pixel Defender 69. <laughs> Have you looked at Pixel Killmonger? This Jason Voorhees? Come on. Yeah, this is the best. Jason Voorhees. This is the best pixel, I think, for sure. Wait, do you have do you have a gold one with no flare? No, I do not have a gold card okay. with no flare. I I mean you said that it was it was that, wait, what's that? Oh no, that has Oh wait, you're natural. asking no, if Ken no. is the bot basically, right? Um. Uh, wait. Oh, this yeah, is like, wait, wait, hold it. No, yeah. that is, that's the base. That's the base variant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like this Killmonger here too. Got a goal kind of that, back. Yeah, that yeah. Killmonger, the Dan Hip one, when you get it gold, if I actually looks worse than that version of then it there. Yeah, when you the get a gold background, it looks worse. Yeah. Oh. Mm. No, Mr. Metal yeah. probably has. There was Pixel Bucky who was thrown over his shoulder. That's it. <laughs> My favorite is Agent Coulson with a little flower. <laughs> They're like half of the agent pixel or the agent pixel. The agent Colson pixel is decent. Like half of that look, pixel look work it. is. He's got a spare one on it. And then you get look to the. Look he's got two legs. Legs. Oh yeah, he's got a spare red, one on his rocket. <laughs> Something's wrong with It's actually the oh same gosh. one. Just, it goes up and then back and then off to the side. Oh, wrong pixels are the greatest variants. Pixel so Colson. See we got for it's, God, like the, I'm telling you, you, the like bottom half flower? is okay. It's Duke Nukem. It He's got a flower. Duke. Oh, Duke that's flower. cute. I see it. <laughs> oh, in his hand. Oh, it looks like he's giving me the finger. It looks like a cat. It looks like a cat though. A little bit. It does look like he's giving you the finger. <laughs> that's it's like. I can't unsee the flower there. now. 
Oh, Would you man. like the flowers? Look at Agent 13. Right yeah. That's Jeff Bezos with the wig. <laughs> wow. Wow, is she wearing long johns what's going on with those it's like there's all the legs on pixels make no sense what's wait is that, oh, okay that's a holster okay when we were at a tournament i talked to ali and i was like you know what i really want the ability to sort by card types and she said yes. i've been advocating for that for so long and i was like yeah I want to see how many pixels I have so mm. I can be sad. <laughs> she was like, yes. He's sad. Wow. I hide... only buy pixel variants. Let me just hide everything by variants. three or four decks full of pixel variants at this point. That is crazy. Nothing better. That's why there's so wow. many of them, because demand is so high. So high. My <laughs> eyes have... Wow. I didn't even All think about features. that. That's crazy. Shocker poop. That's crazy. Didn't even think about that. All right, yeah. So, <sighs> all right, guys. Yes. Anything else you guys want to talk about? Ten minutes ago. Loot, any you got anything? Yeah. Loot. Loot. Quiet. It's been so quiet. Got, buddy? First time. Yeah. No, but, uh, arrow shouldn't be nerfed. Yeah, that's what he's gonna say. Oh yeah. Hands down. <laughs> but yes, I appreciate you guys coming out. Um, again, I hope you guys come back again. This has been super fun. Um. We shouldn't get banned for this, right? I don't think so. Nah, we're good. Yeah. <laughs> the card is in the game. That is true. It is in the game. It's fine. Yeah. But uh, yeah, again, thanks guys for coming out. Um, and I'll see you guys soon. Socials for everybody thanks down below. Go us. follow everybody yes, on social media. Thanks for having me. Definitely, please. <laughs> Hi, Mom. <laughs> Mom, I'm fucking on TV. Mom! Meatloaf! Meatloaf! <laughs> <laughs>